The first thing I want to do is to start with an exercise. I saw this at a training and I thought it was really powerful, uh, the message it conveyed, and you may want to try this with your students. So here's how it goes. I'm going to show you a set of symbols and letters and I want you to try to memorize them. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to study them and then we'll see how many you know. Okay, on a piece of paper, write down as many symbols as you can remember. All right, to most of you, these symbols probably had no meaning, and memorizing them was probably a little difficult. But maybe if I could add some meaning to what these symbols were, it would help you learn them. So take a look at this next slide. So now you can see this is where the symbols came from. If you look at the outline of each box, that is the symbol for the letter. Now had you known that before, would you have been able to easily learn these symbols? Well, of course, now we have a reason for what, what each symbol is. It all makes sense now. I love to show this to students because usually they'll memorize maybe half, but they'll all agree that was kind of tricky. And if I asked them a week later, they probably wouldn't remember any of them. But this is very similar to what we ask students to do when we give them a formula without a meaning. And just think of all the formulas that students have to learn in middle school alone. Um, you can see some on here, but the list is huge, and without understanding, we can't expect students to remember them, at least not for long. The reason I love this exercise is that it's the perfect way to show students that memorization will not get them very far. And in math class, or at least this math class, we're not going to try to memorize a bunch of things. Instead, we're going to try to figure them out and understand how they all work. And that may be a little different for students, maybe, maybe not, but I like to set that tone from day one.